What's up guys, my name is BadgerBoy1234 and welcome to Universe Mode. We are kicking it off with R-Truth vs Kevin Owens here on Main Event. And we are here in Denver, Colorado for three matches tonight as usual. And the main event will be John Cena defending his main event champion once again. But right now we have our truth up in action against them, against the Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens. And right now we do not have a number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion. And here we have the Intercontinental Champion Kevin Owens. And perhaps if our truth defeats Kevin Owens here tonight on the main event, he will become the number one contender for the Intercontinental Champion. Well that's if he can beat Kevin Owens. Not many people can defeat Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is a fantastic wrestler. The complete package for a WWE superstar. He's got the toughness, he's got the aggression. He's, he knows how, how to control a match. He's powerful, he's very agile for his size. He's just a great wrestler and he's the total package. And that's why he's the Intercontinental Champion. He never got his one-on-one -on -one match for his Intercontinental Champion. And he fought for it. He believed that he should have got it. But he fought for it and he won the title in a fatal four-way steel cage match. Defeating the likes of Dean Ambrose the Intercontinental Champion. Christian a veteran and JBL a veteran. So Kevin Owens knows what he Kevin Owens knows what he's doing in the ring. Kevin Owens immediately takes control of a back body drop. He then stomps on the face. A waist look. Nice takedown from our truth though. The last time we saw our truth was here on main event, I believe, and he got absolutely destroyed by Rusev, the Bulgarian brute. Bicycle kick from our truth, though. Can our truth pull off the upset victory? He is a veteran in himself, and Kevin Owens has defeated veterans such as JB and Christian in the past, as well as Fit Finley. Snake Eyes. And if you're going to enjoy this episode, make sure you leave a thumbs up. That helps out with the channel. Also, I'm doing the Q&A right now, guys, so you can send me a question in the comment section down below. Kevin Owens with a shot on clothesline. And he's looking to follow that up by a senton. And a man the size of Kevin Owens, him running into you and dropping down his body weight on you, must hurt. Our truth of a leg drop, though. And it's hard to defeat Kevin Owens because he's good at everything. He can do a bit of everything. You just have to find a mistake and exploit it and maintain the control. German suplex. Oh, it's a goodie from Kevin Owens and there's that athleticism I'm talking about. For a man his size, a step up in Seguri. I whip into the ropes. Elbow. Oh, now he's being arrogant. Kevin Owens is the arrogant competitor, but he can back it up in the ring. And one day he will be a world champion, I can guarantee that. Club across the back of the neck. Snake eyes again. He's heavy blows here. Kevin Owens has been in control for the majority of this match, but our truth is still fighting on. Punches him away though. Oh, what a close line. Just sending him inside out. Oh, wait a minute. Head scissors takedown. Our truth got a lot of great moves in his arsenal. Such as a spinning. Screw forearm. As well as that scissors kick. Shoulder tackle. Our truth punches him away though. Kevin Owens there with a back body drop and he stomps in the face. Showing off his aggression, just stomping on him. There's that big clothesline as they both charge into each other. Oh, he catches him though again, our truth with a head scissors takedown. Elbow drop, misses. Wait a minute. DDT driving him onto his head. Our truth pushes his thumb away, kick to the stomach, Ken Owens moves out the way, elbow, jawbreaker. This match highly back and forth right now. Ken Owens with a side headlock, our truth though, drop toe hold. Ken Owens rolls out of the ring. He follows, back, suplex and his lands badly on his shoulder and neck there, on the outside. 
Ken Owens taunting in the ring yet again. And as soon as our truth gets in the ring, Kevin Owens takes advantage with a big DDT. Oh wait a minute, Kevin Owens, he's on the top. Moonsault onto our truth, wow. A moonsault onto our truth by Kevin Owens. Pop up. Powerbomb. This match has to be it. Kevin Owens with yet yeah, another dominance performance. Just defeating our truth with that pop up power bomb there. And Kevin Owens was in con control for the majority of this bout. But as the match went on, our truth started to gain more and more control. Kevin Owens then lures our truth onto the outside. Where he then hit a nasty back suplex, dropping him badly on his head and neck. And as soon as our truth got in the ring, Kevin Owens took advantage of a DDT, driving him onto his head. He then climbed to the top rope and he hit a moonsault. Which is amazing for a man his size, just showing how great Kevin Owens truly is. He then hit a pop-up powerbomb for the victory. And last week guys, we witnessed a raw tag team match between four of the participants inside the elimination. Well, this time we will see it, but with SmackDown, as Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan will be up in action against The Undertaker Mark Henry. It's the classic Goliath, but who will prevail? We will find out. This is going to be an uphill battle for The Undertaker, for Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan, but for The Undertaker and Mark Henry, it's going to be a walk in the park to them. And that may be their downfall. They're not taking Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels seriously. Especially The, especially the Undertaker, because he is the... He defeated both of, both of them on the way to the front of the tournament. Unfortunately, he couldn't make his way there due to getting by Finn Balor. But Daniel Bryan, he recently fought for the United States Championship. The pinning situation. He wasn't, involved, he wasn't involved in the decision and the result of that match. And now he's looking to win the World Heavyweight Champion and get one more chance. And here is his part. Shawn Michaels means much more to Daniel Bryan than a mentor. Shawn Michaels teaches Daniel Bryan how to wrestle. Shawn Michaels mentored him throughout his career. And this must be a dream come true for Daniel Bryan to team with Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels mi recently made his return to Universe qualifying match for the World Heavyweight Champion as he defeated a mystery opponent which is Kevin Nash it was Kevin Nash but he proved himself in David vs Goliath as he defeated Kevin Nash will he be able to do it tonight with Daniel Bryan against Mark Henry and Undertaker we will find out and Shawn Michaels is looking to become World Heavyweight Champion after getting defeated by The Undertaker at Backlash And here we have The Undertaker who's been targeting the smaller wrestlers as of late. He was a fan favourite until the moment he turned on he in, until the moment he defeated Daniel Bryan. Daniel made Daniel Bryan made his return to face the Undertaker in the first round of the tournament and the last match after first round matches. And the Undertaker, instead of pinning him with the last ride which he started using, he decided to use the tombstone on that one occasion on Daniel Bryan's neck which just got injured. And the crowd started booing him from there. And they started booing him even more when he defeated Shawn Michaels. And now he is a bad guy and the crowd absolutely despises him. But the Undertaker doesn't care, he's the American badass. He only cares about himself, not the fans. And here we have the world's strongest man. It looked like he was bound to win the World Heavyweight Champion at Payback, but he was eliminated first by Randy Orton. And boy would he love to be stuck inside the Elimination Chamber with him.
He wants to rip Randy Orton piece by piece, limb by limb, after he embarrassed Mark Henry by eliminating him first. He absolutely destroyed Randy Orton a few weeks prior before getting eliminated first. And he wants revenge and he wants to become the World Heavyweight Champion. He wants to become the World's Strongest Champion. And he's teaming up with Dante Taker to face Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan. And this is a very important match. Whoever wins this match will gain momentum heading into the six man tag which will determine their spots in the chamber. And that their spot could help them win the match. And he does not want to be eliminated. It first. Everyone's ready, just like that. This tag and the match is underway and Daniel Bryan and Undertaker start off. These two have a lot of history in the first round of the tournament. The Undertaker dropped Daniel Bryan on his previously injured neck, which he just came back from and ended his hopes of becoming world champion. And Daniel Bryan's looking to get some payback, as well as Shawn Michaels looking to get payback. Shawn Michaels proved that he could overcome Giants as he defeated Kevin Nash, but Daniel Bryan hasn't yet. And Undertaker's in control right now, Daniel Bryan trying to fight. Daniel Bryan a technical masterpiece. Shoulder tackle. Daniel Bryan kicked to the stomach. I whip into the ropes. Was he looking to go for? DDT dropping him on his bad neck once again. And that's Daniel Bryan's weakness, his neck, and he drops him down yet again. After Mark Henry distracted by Daniel Bryan by trying to grab him. This match may be over already. Wow, only a one count. Mark Henry's been tagged in. Kicks his stomach for Daniel Bryan though. Trying to fight, flowed over, neck breaker. I assure you that hurts. This match has been awesome. Goes for kick. Not today, too fast. The leg has become the central point of this attack. He's not that tall. And Daniel Bryan ducks under a clothesline, tags in Shawn Michaels. They both punch each other. Shawn throws him into the corner. Quick double team, no. Mark Hubby kicks him away. Atomic drop. Flowed over, neck breaker, and they're doing a good job of isolating Mark Henry and leaving them in his corner. Wait, Mark Henry tries to escape. Sure, Michaels catches him though. No. Needs a stomach from Mark Henry though. Mark Henry makes the tag to the Undertaker, and the rematch from Backlash with Undertaker won. Russian leg sweep. Side here, look. Undertaker. Neck breaker. No decisive advantage right now. They're both looking to find a position and a big DDT from Taker yet again. And every time Taker gets into the ring, he dominates. Oh, wait a minute, he's going for a signature move of his. Watch out, Mark Henry. Old school. Big club across the back. It's amazing what that man his size can do that. Shawn Michaels pops back up, he's, he's still fighting, a punch, a chop, chop gets blocked, DDT again. Undertaker's favourite move today. Undertaker being cocky. Wait a minute, he's looking to go for the... Tombstone pile driver. Daniel Bryan breaks it up, and that may have been it. Shawn Michaels elbow. Goes for running forearm, no. Leg sweep though. But he's in the wrong corner. Oh, he's smart. He's been hit with a finisher, attacking Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan charges out. Throwed over neck breaker. Can David overcome Goliath? It's going to be a challenge, but I think he can do it with his heart. And another throwed over neck breaker. Mark Henry keeps trying to distract Daniel Bryan, but he's fine. He's stomping on him. Kick to the side before he can get up. But he's fully up. It's not. Oh, wait a minute. He's pulling back at the arms. Sure, Michael's attacks the Undertaker. And he gets Mark Henry from behind. Is that distraction enough for Daniel Bryan to capitalize? Waist lock into this lock. Shut off his technical wrestling. Bucks an arm for the yes lock. Kick to the stomach. He has no effect. Daniel Bryan takes him down. Drop toe hold. As his face bounces off the mat. Off the mat. 
Undertaker pops back up. Daniel Bryan finally makes the tag. Shawn Michaels, who charges out with a punch. Undertaker ducks under though. Runs into the ropes. Michaels catches him with an atomic drop. Undertaker though throws Shawn Michaels into the ropes. Back body drop. And he tags in Mark Henry. Who just pins Shawn Michaels. And a two count kick out by Shawn Michaels. He's not done yet. Shawn Michaels swinging neck breaker. Pin. Count. Wow. Shawn Michaels definitely the weakest. Being the only one to be here with a finisher. The tombstone nonetheless. Shawn tags in Daniel Bryan realising that. Kick. Kick to the side of Mark Henry. But he makes the tag to the Undertaker. Punch to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan ducks under. Calling an elbow tie up though. Battle of strength. Of course, of course the Undertaker wins this look. Oh he's gone for that submission yet again. This time to Daniel Bryan. What did he do to him last time? I don't remember. Sean breaks it out. DDT. Daniel Bryan has been busted wide open. This isn't a good sign for him. Shawn Michaels has been hit with a finisher. Daniel Bryan has been busted open. Busted wide open. Mark Henry hasn't taken much damage. Evidence by him kicking out before one. Or just that one. Oh, he's going for a DDT. Daniel Bryan's still fine. Face buster. Daniel Bryan. Oh, no. This move. What a move and what strength to do it to a 299 pounder. The strength of Daniel Bryan. The heart. The resilience. It's showing here. Fighting with blood loss. Kick out too. That was close. Undertaker showing weakness. I switched him into the corner. Double team manoeuvre. Good job keeping them in his, their corner. Snap man a kick from Shawn Michaels. And that may have knocked on to take out. Is this match over? Mark Henry just breaks it up at two. And he accidentally hits the referee in the process. Undertaker for a series of strikes. Big boot. Gets caught. Dragon screw leg whip. Shawn Michaels with a single leg camel clutch. Not often does Undertaker submit. He's close to the ropes. Oh, and Mark Henry takes out the referee when he was just about to submit. Wow. I don't agree with that. Mark Henry cheating now. He realises that they're in control, but Undertaker tosses him up. He then drops him on his face. Oh, Shawn Michaels looking to buy Daniel Bryan some time by grabbing Undertaker. Daniel Bryan capitalises. Fair play. Mark Henry did attack the referee. Need to stomach. And they're isolating Undertaker in their corner, so he can't make the tag. Oh. This match may be over. Two? Mark Henry picks it up at two though. No Steve. A fair share of damage. And the Undertaker just torturing Danny Bryan in the corner, ki repeatedly kicking his chest while he, he can't fight back as he's stuck in the corner. He finally makes Mark Henry. Freshest man in this match, I could be. Wait a minute. A power slam. Body slam just talks to him. Right there. <laughs> John Michaels can intervene. Oh, but no, he just manages to break it up when Daniel Bryan was about to submit. You can tell that he's fading too. And Shawn Michaels makes his way out. Daniel Bryan receives the strikes, but he gets caught. Wait a minute, this is even worse. World's strongest slam. I know he's just putting his hands over his chest. He is over him. This match is over. Shawn Michaels just breaks it up. He managed to break it up. Daniel Bryan receives the strikes. Mark him with the elbow. Roll up. Roll up. Is this it? Yes. I think it is. No. Mark Henry kicks out. This has been an awesome match right now. But Daniel Bryan may be out. Daniel Bryan still fights on. Daniel Bryan's in control, but for how long? Oh, wait a minute. Sting Shimmer kicked a leg. He chops the big man on his knees. Kick, kick, kick. 
Daniel Bryan's just going at him. Full pelted. Six kicks to the chest and a seventh to the back of the skull. He's knocked out. Can David overcome Goliath? But the referee taking time off the Daniel Bryan, off the Shawn Michaels. And on to take a fight in. And the referee's been taken down. But Mark and Mark Henry taps out. But the referee can't see due to being attacked. Wait a minute, he sees it. He sees it. And the match is over. David has overcame Goliath. Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels have defeated the Undertaker and Mark Henry. Oh my god. Wow, I can't believe it. I thought that Mark Henry and Undertaker had it in the bag. The Undertaker hit a tombstone very early on in the bout. And I thought that was it. But no. They kept on fighting and he hit the yes look. And it was looking like he was going to lose them. He wasn't going to win the match because the referee was down. But as he got up, the Undertaker realised that after the chaos between him and Shawn Michaels. And he tried to break it up. But he got distracted by Shawn yet again. And the referee saw the tap out. And that's a big win. Let's not forget that Mark Henry just tapped out to Daniel Bryan. Shawn Michaels. Even that's the Goliath. And Daniel Bryan overcame the world's strongest man, the Goliath. Mark Henry. Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels have proved that they deserve to be in this Elimination Chamber match. Overcoming two of the biggest superstars on SmackDown. Literally and figuratively. Lit just both literally. I can't say that other word right now. And David David has overcame Goliath. And that has given a boost. Hitting into that six man petty match in just two days on SmackDown. Will there be will there both be in the last spots for the Elimination Chamber? We will find out on SmackDown. But next up, John Cena will be defending his main event champion against Mystery Poland. And we are here with the main event of main event with John Cena defending his main event champion. And John Cena is by far the most popular main event champion, the most successful NXT champion. He has defeated legends such as Vic Flair and the British Bulldog. He has defeated current stars such as Tyler Breeze. He has defeated everyone that has challenged him and he has not given up. And that's one of his slogans. Us all loyalty and respect. Never give up. He never gives up when there's a challenge and he overcomes the odds. Even though he's normally not the underdog. Who's accepting it? Oh, and here's the big show. Here comes trouble. Here we have the giant, the big show. And he is looking to win the main event champion. And these two have history in the tournament to crown the World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena defeated the Big Show and then did Big Show's hopes of becoming World Champion once again. And since then, Big Show has been trying to get itself in the World Heavyweight Champion scene, but he keeps getting thwarted by Andre the Giant, his father. Being able to capitalize on any opportunities due to Andre the Giant and the mind games he's playing on the Big Show. But that's what the Big Show gets for disrespecting a legend such as Andre the Giant. Will Big Show be able to win the main event champion? Oh wait a minute, speaking of legends, here's the All-American, Lex Luger. Making his return to the WWE at tribute to the troops where he defeated Rusev by count out. He then had the match with Rusev on Raw where he got absolutely destroyed. Where Rusev used the exposed turnbuckle illegally. 
This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. What an entrance! This is who Lex Luger looking to win the main event champion, and we haven't seen him since he got destroyed by Rusev. He got injured by Rusev, but now's his opportunity to get away from him and win the main event champion. He's very strong like John Cena, but he's got tough competition. John Cena and the world's largest athlete, The Big Show. He has won one in his return to the WWE, defeating Rusev by count out and losing to Rusev via submission. Oh no. Oh no, Lex Luger thought he could get away from him, but no! Rusev is following in his shadow. He is still going after Lex Luger and he wants to win the main event champion. He tried to make an impact on Raw to win the Intercontinental Champion, but he got eliminated by Kevin Owens. And since then, he hasn't been able to get himself back into the title picture. So now he's looking to win the main event champion. And this is what the main event champion is for. He gives people opportunities to prove themselves and get showcased by accepting the challenge. Rusev the Bulgarian brew is very brutal and he injured Lex Luger after demolishing him and dominating him and smashing him into that exposed turnbuckle which he illegally exposed and the referee didn't really see that so he didn't disqualify him but that's the referee we're talking about we shouldn't be surprised and the big show he tried to screw Andre the Giant over when he faced the Undertaker and it worked so he did get some revenge but now I'm sure that Andre the Giant's going to follow in his footsteps. Like what Rusev's done to Lex Luger. And I think Rusev could win this match and become the new main event champion. But we will find out. He's got the advantage of, on Lex Luger as he injured him. And Lex Luger must be intimidated by him. And here is the title these four are fighting for. John Cena looking to retain. There's the main event champion. Lex Luger looks prepared. Rusev looks focused. The Big Show looks ready to punish. Let's face it, it's What's your prediction, guys? Leave in the comment section below. Rusev with a German suplex of the Big Show. Wow. What strength by the Bulgarian brute. The super athlete. John Cena going after Lex Luger. Battle of strength while the Big Show and Rusev just having a fight. Um, that's going to be a brawl. In this match we've got two Smackdown stars and two Raw stars. Lex Luke and Rusev from Raw. Big Show and John Cena from Smackdown. And John Cena had an opportunity to face Shawn Michaels and become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Champion. But he, he said he was too dedicated to the main event champion and he wanted to put all of his focus on that so he didn't lose it. So that just shows how much respect John Cena has towards his title. And that he just doesn't just see it as a title, he sees it as an accomplishment. And there's that big leg drop across the back of the head. As the big show just runs over Rusev like a bus. John Cena goes after the big show of Russian leg sweep. And Cena's got an advantage over the big show. He's defeated him before. Big show hasn't defeated him. And Big Show sends John Cena to the outside, and we're going to focus on the in-ring action. Rusev will need the stomach of his rival Lex Luger. These two despise each other. Rusev just hates Lex Luger after embarrassing him in America where he looked to defeat anyone. And Lex Luger proved that his country is the dominant country. And that annoyed Rusev, and Rusev's been on the tear ever since, looking to just put him out of injury, put him out, put him out of action permanently. But Lex Luger keeps fighting back, and he keeps coming back for more. Big show of a super kick, though. So, if, guys, if I sound a bit rusty, I haven't recorded this match for like two weeks. So this is two weeks separate from other matches, and I'm recovering from an illness right now. So bear with me. But Cena with a fisherman suplex there, and he grabs Rusev from behind, but Rusev powers out with his strength. And the belly to belly, no wonder why he's called the Bulgarian brute and a super athlete. We've seen him going off the big show of Lufez Preso. 
And I don't remember if this match is elimination or not. John Cena going for the pin. Only a one count. Lex Luger striking on Rusev. Series of strikes. Tries to use technical wrestling, but he's not the best technical wrestler. Rusev uses strength to power out. Who's stronger, Rusev or Lex Luger? We will find out. The big Show powers out of John Cena's clutch. Rusev powers out yet again. Belly to belly as Cena just pounds on the Big Show. Cena starts going after Lex Luger. Lex Luger and John Cena then double team Rusev double. Gut buster. And Cena goes back off to the Big Show and Lex Luger gun for the pin. Only a two count. On oh, Cena looking to go hit his signature move, the five knuckle shuffle. You can't see me. Runs into the ropes, stops, taunts. And there it is, he hits the five knuckle shuffle. Big Show just pops back up. And a big boot. Oh, wait a minute. Look out, punch to the side of his face. Not quite as impactful as one standing up, but still impactful nonetheless. And STO as Lex Luger just overpowers Rusev. Big Show is just all over John Cena. This may be it, but no, DDT. Lex Luger going for the pin. Only a one count. Cena blocks Rusev, but Rusev drops him down. And now he's working on the arm and the shoulder. Lex Luger breaks it up, though. Guess it's not elimination, then. Or maybe he wanted to pin Rusev. John Cena and Lex Luger double-teaming Rusev again. Another double gut buster. Cena! AA from out of nowhere to the big show. Doing a Dean Ambrose trick where he just grabs him in a random hold and then hits the AA. And John Cena has retained his main event champion. He did the Dean Ambrose trick where he puts them in a wrist lock or a side head lock and just a random hold and then out of nowhere he just hits his finisher when they don't expect it. And John Cena has retained his main event champion yet again. Defeating Big Show yet again by pinfall. And the Big Show just can't defeat John Cena. And John Cena proved why he's the main event champion. He defeated the Giants, the world's largest athlete. And he managed to defeat Rusev and Lex Luger. And I believe their rivalry got over the title. And their rivalry overshadowed the title. And they forgot about the title and they just wanted to beat the hell out of each other. And they may have cost each other the match there. And John Cena retains the main event champion yet again. And I don't know who's going to be able to defeat John Cena. But John Cena's reign has been fantastic. The best reign out of the three between Diamond Dallas Page and Curtis Axel and John Cena, of course. John Cena has defeated the likes of Cesaro, Tyler Breeze, the British Bulldog, Ric Flair, Rusev, Lex Luger, and the Big Show, and many more. He will defeat many more eventually. But will he be able to continue to retain the champion? Because he could lose it next week to whoever accepts it. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. We witnessed many great matches, such as the biggest moment of the night, in my opinion, where Daniel Bryan and Shawn Michaels overcame The Undertaker and Mark Henry, and they won the match and got a huge momentum boost. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Main Event. SmackDown will be up very soon, so watch out for that.